Well, everybody, I am so excited to be on Zoom with two of my favorite mediums because, first of all, James Van Prague, you're, it's, this is your fault, really, that I do this with. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of, right? <laughs> you're literally one of the first people I ever wrote about and stay tuned was James Van Prague. Kelly White was one of the first people that I talked to before the pandemic, before the Spiritual Social Club even started, and was one of my very first uh, mediums to join on the community. So thank you both for being on for this conversation. It's very important work that uh, that's happening right now right now. And right now you're coming to Chicago, July 25th. We want to let everybody know you'll be at the Gorton Community Center in Lake Forest. And there are still, as we talk right now, there are still some tickets available, correct? Correct. correct. Okay. And what's going to be happening? Because we know it's an evening with spirit, but for those who don't know how you two work together, or if they're not familiar with both sides now and all the wonderful stuff you do together online, what can they expect live in person? Well, before we begin, Jennifer, I thank you very much for having us because you're, you know, go way back and you're the best. And uh, one thing I want to say is Chicago in itself is one of my favorite cities and, and the people in the Midwest to work with because they're the easiest to work with in that they're just so nice and really, really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Better than New York and LA um, <laughs> because it's just they're easygoing and they're fun people and I, we, we love working with them. And I, uh, it'll be an evening um, that Kelly and I come together and we, I think we'll probably talk a little bit about, you know, the spirit world, the process of mediumship, the way how Kelly works and how I work, because every medium works a little differently. Okay. And then we'll do, um, we'll do messages over the audience members um, mm -hmm. s separately. And also together, we'll do a, um, a double link, if we call it double links, we both go. So we'll right. do a lot of that. And uh, it's, Funny, funny. And what I'd like to say, Jen, and thanks for having us on, really appreciate it. When James and I work together, and we do a show weekly called Life After Death and Beyond. Mm -hmm. And when we work together and we're doing this work, magic happens. Wouldn't you agree true. with that, James? I it's mean, true. We, very true. The things that come <laughs> up, the stories, and then one person might get a reading, and then the next person raises their hand and says, Well, wait a minute, that's this belongs to me too. And then this one goes on, and this one. It is the wildest thing to witness. You know, and also too, some people don't understand that when those parallel piggybackings happen, they'll think, oh, it wasn't for me. It was theirs. No, no, no. It's both and. It's not either yes. or. Yes. This is you most. Know what, you know what I think it is, Jen, I don't know what I think it is over the years. You open up the medium, will open up the, or the spirit with the medium, will open up a certain space. Mm -hmm. And that space is, a, let's say it's a suicide. That space is open for someone else in the audience. Those, I call them spaces that open up and then they can come through that way. That's the way I like to describe it. That's perfect. But they, and it, and it's for them all. It's not it's just for them all. Right. Well, everybody will get a message. Everybody will leave feeling something very important has just happened. Right. And Kelly, it's a life changer, really. I mean, every time mediums work, especially with large crowds there, I, to me, everybody in that room, the life will change. If they if they choose that, if they open themselves up and they want that, and it doesn't happen right away, it's very profound that, you know, in the next week or the next month or even within a year, something changes within them. So it's really an yeah. incredible experience. And we're really headed into a really spiritual time on the planet. So to I was just going to say, there's some stuff percolating. Can you feel absolutely. like Absolutely. Oh, we have lots of energy happening here. We have a huge experience coming up Monday and Tuesday of this upcoming week, July uh, 14th and 15th and 16th, I should say. Is it planets and going upside yeah, down? Yeah, Mars and Uranus conjoin, which means they come together. But they come together with what's called a ghoul, the Death Star. So it's a very powerful week. And this will last for the week of July 14th till about the 20th. So it's a very okay. intense energy here on the planet. But what the purpose is, is to wake people up spiritually. And that's what James and I talk about all the time. You know, the consciousness. This is time where the consciousness on the planet is shifting. So right. come with us, meet us in Chicago if you are available in Chicago. And your yeah. consciousness surely will shift. And that's it. It's all frequency. And so if you mm -hmm. come in with an intention, we were just talking about before we hit record about intention, a lot of people trying to jump into this work without the aligned intention. Yeah. And when um, there are intentions of, oh, I just want to be famous. I just want to write books. I just want to do all these things. You know, if that stuff comes later, great. But if that's the reason out of the gate that you're doing the work, that's out of alignment. And that's not the frequency that you're looking to see inside the community center in um, Lake Forest on the 20th. No. And right. you know, as you know, Jen, I moved from Los Angeles to Wisconsin. So right. I'm not too far from Chicago. And I agree with you, James, some of the kindest, nicest people 
are yeah. in Chicago and in the Midwest. It's just a lovely, lovely place to be. If you yeah. all could sort of summarize over the past six months, big, big changes that you've seen in your readings and your work, things that maybe you know now that you didn't know before, is there anything that's coming to mind, James? Well, you know, I have school online, the JVP right. School of Mystical Arts, right? So it's all these board even classes and all it covers all different, um, you know, subjects and disciplines right. from healing to psychic work to mediumship. And I have these open hours with students that we have Zoom calls. We talk about all different types of things. Mm -hmm. And one thing I noticed that there's more of a community with people that are like-minded people coming together in whatever form that might be. I'm right. noticing more and more of that across the globe. More people looking spiritually to, to connect, to be together, the same mindset. Uh, Kelly, yep. I don't know about you. Well, I have noticed that. I absolutely agree with that. And the other thing I've noticed is that I've seen a lot of families through people who have had great loss break up and then through great traumas and great, uh, I don't know, dysfunction, there's always one in a family that will come together to mm -hmm. try to heal everything. And so I've seen a lot of families being healed by one person who changes their consciousness. Wow. Then what do you, those who are watching this video do if like, say they're the one conscious person in their family mm -hmm. and all the other people in their family are kind of like, ah, run for the hills. Like me. Well, it's what James <laughs> was saying. It would be, yeah. you know, reaching out to a group of consciousness, people with, with a high degree of consciousness, a degree right. of, of spiritual Yes. And James has many of those people mm -hmm. you have on your in your classes, James. That's cool. Yeah. And something Kelly taught me years ago, which I'm always going to give Kelly that late for this because it really helped me. Mr. Been around a long time, but, you know, we always have to be open to learning. And I was having a problem with family members and friends. And she said, especially a particular family member. And she said, James, he's limited. He doesn't know any better. And that really opened up my eyes because everybody's coming together with families and friends and we're all at different levels of understanding and awareness. And if we understand that people are all at different levels, we can't judge them. It's all they know. They're limited in what they know. And we got to have a sense of compassion. That's right. And you really are everywhere where you're supposed to be in that moment. If you set the intention every day to show up and serve, you know, just say, Hey, where do you want me to go today? I remember Dr. Mary Neal, who had the near death experience wrote to heaven and back and the seven things I learned in heaven. And when I got to interview her, she came through Chicago and uh, she was saying that if she just wakes up every day and thinks of the penny in God, I trust, and that's it. She'll be called to do whatever, which she was called to go down to the tribune and have a conversation with me. And she said, I'm not a public speaker. You know, I'm a physician. I'm a scientist. I'm, I'm, you know, she couldn't make up these stories if she tried, but she knew she was supposed to go down and tell that story because ever since we met in 2012, that was, I've told it to everybody I can that you have right. to trust there's something bigger going on. We're all connected like an oriental rug. There's a pattern. It's light and it's dark, but it's needed and it's tethered together. And we need all of it, the dark and the light so that we can come together and raise that frequency. And if we don't yeah. we try to separate and say, uh, uh, I'm not attached to you. Guess what? When you get there, <laughs> you realize, oh, crap. surprise, <laughs> we are connected. I, I do something very similar, Jennifer. I, what I do in the morning is I take my shower and I will end it with, may God, um, may God show me the way. Mm. Like may, may God be may God be with me and show me the way. So I'm setting that intention to open up to serve in that godly manner, that loving manner, that compassion. And it really works. You program your day. Yeah. And speaking of programming the day, I want to give this back to you, James. You told me when you were in Chicago, gosh, several years back, we were having lunch in Evanston. And um, you said that you set a timer on your phone for like a light shower, like to remember. Because if we are unconscious about it. <laughs> We'll just pick up everybody's gunk. So oh, it's yeah. like the lint roller that you roll on the carpet with 15 cats. You know, it's like <clears throat> you have to take a light shower, a consciousness shower. And if you have to set an alarm on your phone to do it several times a day, by all means, do it. Yeah. But just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I can't wait to see you both we're, in person. We're going to have so much. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. A lot, of, a lot of people are sensitive and empaths, so we pick things up unconsciously, maybe from other people energetically. Just right. by walking in a room, we pick up that because we're so sensitive. So we yeah. got to know our own energy. We got to be really aware of who we are energetically. So when someone comes into your space, you can identify and discern between your energy and theirs. It's really important. Yes, so you might important. not be anxious. You might just be empathic. It's a big difference. And you might be looking at someone else's energy instead of your energy. Exactly. <laughs> 
got to roll the windows up, kids. <laughs> Set those boundaries. That's right. I'm sorry. What was that word? Set those, sorry, those boundaries. Right? That yeah. bur- that, I'm sorry. Bo- bo- what's a boundary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Intuitives don't know that word very well, do they? <laughs> well, oh, one more question. The VIP situation, how much time will people get to spend with you all? And what does that look like if people buy a VIP ticket? A VIP ticket is um, it's a three-hour event. And then the VIPs mm-hmm. get... Uh, an, a lot of time with us afterwards is a separate foyer or pavilion, I think, <laughs> cool. on the side, and we'll sign books and we'll just we'll talk to people, take pictures, do photographs. Oh, but another extra hour, I think, for the VIPs. Love that. Okay, just and be the first two or three rows. Also, I had a couple of people who asked. Sorry, this is what I've been dealing with. This whole conversation, my dog has been oh. trying to get up in my lap for this Thank chat. You. So I apologize. Oh. All the energy of my, oh, how- my rescue dog. She's like, I want to be with you guys. Oh, okay. Sweet. Well, she, she can't come to the Gorton community center, but if people want to get tickets, where do they- <laughs> she's getting her fill in now. That's right. That's right. Where do they go for tickets on both of your websites? Vanprog.com. V-A-N-P-R-A-A-G-H.com. Mm-hmm. My name. Or the event right with my name or Kelly's name. We're in yeah. that bright. So, right. but I think my website's probably the easiest way. I think that, it is the easiest way. Yeah. yeah. Under yeah. events, under events. And then, uh, of course, Life After Death and Beyond is where they can see you two every week together. And I'm Monday gonna, nights. Uh, yeah. At 6 Monday p.m. Nights. of Pacific. 6 Some p.m. Pacific, 8 have. Central. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Tune in if you aren't already. Thanks to both of you for all the important work that you're doing. Can't Thank wait to see you when you get here. Me and too. put on our seat belts for this uh, whatever planetary <laughs> whatnot that's going on yes. next week, right? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, you both. We'll talk again. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay.